everyone and welcome to my new video. This is Carmageddon on the PlayStation 1. And this is another game that I encountered in the past, but I had this on the PC uh, many, many years ago. And I used to really enjoy it on there. I thought it was a cracking game. Um, a bit sick and a bit twisted, but um, rather hilarious just the same. It's a game that I think takes a lot of influence from a Roger Corman film from I think it was the probably mid to late 1970s called Death Race 2000. Um, it was one of Sylvester Stallone's early appearances on film. Um, he played a character called Machine Gun Joe and it, I think it had David Carradine in it. He played um, a guy called Frankenstein and it was set in some dystopian future earth where um, the car, these cars, insane psychopathic race drivers race around this big city or some place like that I think and um, they get points for basically dishing out death and mayhem um, and this is kind of a similar thing with this film here um, incidentally they remade um, Death Race 2000 and they just called it Death Race, it had Jason Statham in it but it didn't really have an awful lot in common apart from the fact that the various drivers in the film are trying to kill one another um, it didn't have an awful lot in common with the original film um, in the original film the, the, the drivers scored points for running over pedestrians and stuff like that it was kind of amazing the film never got banned um, and yeah this does take quite a cue from there, I'm not saying that the developers, I'd be surprised should I say if the developers of this game weren't heavily influenced by it but anyway this is Carmageddon on the PlayStation 1 um, it still retains all of the, the sort of gameplay shall we say of the PC original, he's still driving around blowing up other vehicles um, in this, the um, the pedestrians are called zombies, um, and this sort of harks back to the fact that the original Carmageddon caused quite a bit of um, quite a bit of controversy when it came out, and I can't remember the exact details or why's and wherefores, but I do know that um, when it was released, the government over here in the UK saw its arse about it and I I can't remember whether it was Carmageddon or Carmageddon 2 um, or whether it was both of them had to change the, the blood from red to green and then refer to them as zombies although it was all rather pointless because you could easily go and download a patch which turned everything back again just made a complete mockery of the whole issue of censorship on the PlayStation version, um, it's kind of interesting because, as you can quite see, there's a fair amount of claret being splattered around. And obviously, there was no patch um, for the PlayStation because you couldn't download a patch for for the PlayStation to to update it back to its original colour. So it was red, but the pedestrians are still referred to as zombies, which is kind of bizarre. But it just goes to show you the ridiculousness of when people try to impose a degree of censorship on things. Um, it very often doesn't work because it can be circumnavigated quite easily and it all makes it rather pointless in the first place. It's just a bloody video game at the end of the day. Um, and zombies going down on the knees begging for mercy too. I'm not, uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure about that. But anyway, never mind. Um, how does it play? Well, as I say, it plays the same as the the place uh, the PC version, but graphically, it's pretty horrendous, even for a PlayStation One game. Um, there's an awful lot of pop up, and there's an awful lot of glitching going on as well, um, as you can probably see. Um, not so much here in the video as such, but. There are times where, you know, if you go up and down a hill quite quickly, the, the track behind the vehicle just completely disappears. 
and the draw distance is pretty bad as well sometimes when you when you're speeding around I mean it's not too bad here because I'm just sort of more focusing on running things over but as you'll have seen in the video there are times when um, you know the PlayStation always had an issue of pop-up and most well I think all consoles around this period did um, you know that was just due to the limitations of the hardware but it was particularly notable in this it was especially bad it had a, a pretty restrictive draw distance which um, was quite quite annoying and as I say there's a lot of glitches as well it even by the standards of a PlayStation game it does look as rough as a bear's ass and that's kind of unfortunate because it that that certainly the draw distance issue does have um, an impact to a certain degree on the game as does some of the glitching the handling of the car isn't especially brilliant um, it was probably a better on the PC which is kind of surprising because you think that that would have been something that was relatively um, fixable um, bearing in mind it's using a joypad native as opposed to the PC I mean certainly in my experience I think the PC vehicle handled maybe slightly better um, and I was using the Sidewinder joypad on the PC um, and that, again that does seem a bit surprising because uh, you know I would have thought that it would have naturally played better on the the PlayStation version um, I don't know how much of it again is down to the limitations of the hardware but there's still a lot of fun to be had from it I have to say you know it's it's still a pretty good game and it's still well worth checking out you can probably pick up a copy of this now for a couple of quid or maybe even less and it is it is still kind of a, a unique type of game they, they've never really gone away and remade it which is a bit surprising really but yeah anyway that's uh, Carmageddon on the Sony PlayStation. Thank you for watching.